So, part of, uh, a part of, some of that news related, that was a terrible phrase, but Austin Hooper, so they let him test the market, and the Cleveland Browns will be the team to sign him. They're going to give him a bunch of money. What is, Does this interest you at all for Austin Hooper? I mean, he was the – was he like the number one fantasy wide receiver? Number when, one or, or when tight he, end, I mean? When he was playing through the first whatever he it was, was eight weeks of the season, he was number one at that point. Came back, struggled a little bit right when he got back, but finished strong. So Austin Hooper – But was he a system tight end or is it the skills you're buying into it? The, the Cleveland Browns have, have also apparently signed right tackle Jack Conklin, really upgrading that offensive line. Are you interested in Austin Hooper? And at the same time, what does this do to David and Joku? Yeah, I mean, this the, I mean, when I saw this, gone, I was just right? like, man, what if – it's crazy to me that David and Joku, who's so talented, and he hasn't been able to stay that healthy, but when he's been out there, he's shown that he's not – he's not like one of those complete busts where you draft him, he never did anything, he's just a loser, and you've got to replace him. He's flashed, he's shown – that you know he might become what you drafted him to be, and now you go out and spend a ton of money here. I know Stefanski and uh, the Vikings, they utilized in the red zone the tight end a lot. So this is, which isn't you know necessarily Hooper's specialty, but he's a, he's a valuable commodity. I think he is a, an above-average tight end who deserves a little bit more respect than he's received. I'm not super thrilled about him on the Cleveland Browns, I certainly don't see him repeating the numbers he did last year. I've got Matt the bet. Ryan into. I've got the bet. Okay. Blake Jarwin <laughs> versus David Njoku. Oh, I would take Blake Jarwin there. They just ha <laughs> That has to hurt you so bad. It does because I You lo- are the you are the Njoku Injoku truther. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. Injoku is going to sign somewhere and be good next year. He's going to leave this team uh-huh. in a good... No, just wait. Mm-hmm. Let me just say this. I just said Blake Jarwin is is going to be better this year. So obviously I don't think highly of Injoku this year. But right. there's no chance I'm getting rid of Injoku in a dynasty league. He's definitely going to stay on my roster for that first contract. I held on to Jarwin for multiple years. You can hold on to Injoku <laughs> you oh what a day oh hey thanks for watching that highlight clip if you want to see the whole video you can click down there if you want to subscribe you can click over there that's about all i have for you